It was known at the time that all objects emit radiation from the oscillation of electric dipoles, or charges, of atomic nuclei and their associated electrons. We have all seen an object when heated will warm up and glow red. At higher temperatures, the object will eventually glow blue, then white at even higher temperatures. A black body is a solid object with an empty internal cavity. A pinhole allows for an exit. When the black body is heated, the body emits radiation, as all objects do when heated. The radiation exits through the pinhole and can be detected. When the black body is heated to even higher temperatures, a blue glow is dominant. This explains the blue glow of hot objects. The experimental data of the intensity of the radiation, often called energy density versus the wavelength, shows a distribution of wavelengths. At lower temperatures, there's a distribution of wavelengths, but we see a peak near the wavelength for red light, about 600 nanometers, which is why a red glow color is observed. Notice at higher temperatures, there's a noticeable shift of the peak to lower wavelength, yellowish, for example, about 500 nanometers. And at higher temperatures, there's a shift to lower wavelengths, about 400 nanometers, which represents a blue color of the visible spectrum. Again, at higher temperatures, hotter objects emit a blue color. Here was the issue at the turn of the century. Mechanics at the time, now called classical mechanics, could not explain this experimental data. For example, the Raleigh-Jean equation shows the intensity, or rho, is equal to 8 pi kT over the wavelength, lambda, raised to the fourth power. Here, k is Boltzmann's constant from thermodynamics. A plot of the intensity versus wavelength shows a curve like this. Notice, as the wavelength increases, the intensity decreases, which agrees with experiments at high wavelengths. But at smaller wavelengths, the Raleigh-Jean equation increases exponentially and never comes back down. This is in disagreement with the experimental data. This is called the ultraviolet catastrophe. As Atkin writes, according to classical physics, even cool objects should radiate visible and ultraviolet light. Objects should glow in the dark. There should, in fact, be no darkness. This is an absurd result. Max Planck, who studied thermodynamics, approached this curious experimental data from a thermodynamics point of view. See, these experimental curves look very similar to the distribution of particle velocities from kinetic molecular theory. Here is a figure from my kinetic molecular theory lecture. The key to recreating a distribution plot like this is the e to the x term. In fact, Planck was able to recreate the spectral density distributions with this equation, which is also called Planck's distribution. In inspecting the equation, we see that at high wavelengths, the exponential term in the denominator approaches zero, leading to the agreement with the Raleigh-Jean equation. But at lower wavelengths, a curve is produced, which brings the distribution back towards zero, in agreement with the experimental data. There are two fundamental conclusions Planck reaches. First, Planck's distribution equation requires a constant to fit the experimental observations. This h term is famously known as Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 raised to the negative 34 joules time seconds. And here's the second conclusion. 
Clearly, there are some oscillators that are not excited and do not emit radiation, contrary to what classical physics suggests. This is because, according to Planck's hypothesis, the electromagnetic oscillators are only excited if they acquire a specific energy. The energies allowed are equal to h nu, where nu is the frequency of radiation, and n are whole number integers. This is the turning point in physics history. Whereas classical mechanics predicts all energies are allowed for oscillators, the new physics suggests that only integer values of energy are allowed. This is the quantization of energy. In modern physics, the quantization of energy is written like this. Because only discrete values are allowed, we can think of them as particles or packets of light, called photons or quanta. Thus, a new physics is born. Quantum mechanics.